The mainstream news in Canada doesn't think that politics enters into anything aside from politics. It's wrong. Ezra Levant is the creator of Rebel News. He joins me right now because it's a fascinating story that I heard through a network, never in mainstream news. But Ezra, you and your organization, I understand, um, had purchased a building in Calgary and had the financing through the Royal Bank. And all of a sudden, the Royal Bank head headquarters got wind of it, and it's gone. We made an offer to buy a, a small office building because our staff is growing. And the offer was accepted, so we went to the bank to get a commercial mortgage on commercial terms. And the local mortgage officers in the Calgary main branch said, it looks great. In fact, they sort of joked with me that they wanted to give us two mortgages for two buildings. And in addition to approving the mortgage, they gave us an unsolicited six-figure line of credit. So they said it was a very strong financial application. I was thrilled. Of course. But then I heard back, and they said, Toronto has vetoed it for political reasons. And I did something that I very rarely do. I decided to record the call. I don't like to do that, but I knew that I had one chance to catch the local mortgage officers being honest. And if I didn't do that, no one would ever believe me. They'd say, oh, you just no. have bad credit yeah. or something like that. So I recorded the local banker who had gone through things with a fine tooth comb. He was an MBA saying, you have no debt. You have good cash flow financially. It's very strong. But the Toronto office says your opinions are too strong. And I said, well, look, I'll That's meet. That's astonishing. That's like a banana republic. And I <laughs> said, well, look, listen, I'm here in Toronto. I'll meet with them by Zoom or in person. Because I really, I've been banking with Royal Bank personally for more than 20 years. Yep. I've never had a problem. Why are they sticking the dagger in? So I called back again. And the, the local banker said, sorry, they refused to budge. And they refused to And they don't want to talk to you. Yeah. And so I'm thinking, well, hang on, how did I get on the list? What are the criteria? How did they get the information? Because I didn't put my political opinions in any application. Do they have like a surveillance unit? How do I get off the list? Who else is on the list? Yeah. And I wouldn't have known if I didn't have that honest banker in Calgary, if they would have said Ezra Rebel News is too small oh, or geez. wobbly. Yeah. I would have believed them if they said I wasn't credit worthy, but they said I was, and they said it was killed for politics. Kill for politics. That's not supposed to happen in Canada. Did you lose a deal in the building, or are you trying to get other financing? Well, you know what? I or think other people, are, other people are stepping forward because they said, well, if the Royal Bank says it's a good deal financially, I'll take that deal. But I, I just think that if it was a barber shop saying, get out, I don't want to cut your hair, OK, I could go to, uh, I could go to another barber a block down. But uh, the top bank in Canada, Chartered Bank, has all sorts of rights and powers and privileges, oh. it, almost a quasi-governmental organization. They're on everybody's side, you know, hmm. left wing and all yeah. kinds of weird organizations. But Ezra Levant, rebel, we don't like your views. Blackballed. Yeah. Thank you very much. It was important. Three minutes. Thank you very, very much for watching and for engaging in the three minutes, which will carry you through most discussions for the day. 2022 is going to be a very, very tough year. Stay with us. Please tell your friends to subscribe and PayPal. Thanks.